Hi guys, it's me, Miss Rodriguez. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and you're ready to start doing some work. So this assignment you're going to be doing today is something called a Jamboard. And since it's the first time you used it, I thought I'd make a quick little video to show you what it is. So a Jamboard is really cool. A Jamboard is just like having a whiteboard where you get to write on it. You can write, you can draw. The other cool thing is you can also put things on it. So today we're going to be using a Jamboard and I'm going to show you some of the parts of the Jamboard first and then I'll show you how it works. So if you look at a Jamboard, over here on the side you see some different tools. This is your pen. If you click on the pen, it turns gray and that means you're using it. If you click on the little arrow right next to it, then you can change the kind of pen you're using. It can be a pen. It can be a marker, a highlighter, or it can be a brush. And you can choose one of these colors when you're using the Jamboard. This is your eraser, which of course is for erasing any mistakes. You have a select arrow, which just means you're highlighting things. We're not going to use that too much. On here, there are little sticky notes, which I'll show you in just a bit. This picture of mountains is where you would put a picture of something, a photograph. And then this one's like a laser. So if you were showing somebody, you'd be able to point at different things. The other thing I want you to look at is right here at the top of the Jamboard, it has, it looks like little boards, one in front of the other. So this one says one out of two. That means on this Jamboard, there are two. And if I want to get to the second Jamboard, I would click on this arrow, and it takes me to the next one. If I come back here, click back, then I'm back on the first one. And then the other thing here is there's these arrows that are right underneath where it says Miss Rodriguez, try the jam board. So the arrows say undo or redo. So you can always erase that way or redo means you want to take what you erase and put it back. So let me go ahead and show you some of the things. Like right here it says draw a picture and write your name with the drawing tool. So I'm going to start by getting my pen. I'm going to pick a color I like, and I'm going to do this. Now, the cool thing about a Jamboard is if you're using an iPad, you can just draw on the screen. So, Ms. Rodriguez has a touch screen, so I'm doing that too. Let's see. This. It's kind of messy, but that's okay, and that's part of why we're trying it. I'm going to do Rod because my name's a little long for that. But I've got Miss Rodriguez there. It says draw a picture and write your name. So I did my name already. So now I'm going to come here and draw a picture. So I'm going to start. I think I'm going to use a marker this time. And I'm going to draw myself. And since it doesn't have a brown, which is my color of my hair, I'm going to keep that black color. My hair is real long. Let's see. There's that brush. So you can see it kind of does it differently. If I don't like how the brush looks, I can always go back and change it. That might work a little better for what I'm trying to do. I'm going to add some eyes. Since Mr. Rodriguez is just doing this really quick, I'm not going to do my picture too fancy, but you guys have plenty of time that you can work on your picture. It also says put a photograph in this box. So now I'm going to add a photograph. So the way I do that is I go to this picture on the side, the left side of the mountain, and you can take a picture with your iPad and put it there. You're probably going to go to um, select a file from your device, and you'll click there. Now, Ms. Rodriguez is going to go here because she's doing this on a computer. And because I already have some pictures here. But I'm going to find a picture. In fact, I'm going to find one that you guys have probably seen because Ms. Rodriguez used it for what I look like in first grade. And just like this, I can move my picture to the right part of the box. And then I'm going to look at this real fast. You have three dots right here. There's a big one and then two little dots. So the ones that are on the bottom, 
what they do is you can drag them to make your picture bigger or make it smaller. You'd want it to fill up most of the box. This one has an arrow that's going on either side of it. So that means if I just move it, I can move my picture around. I don't want to make it upside down or anything, but I can move around if I like. So I filled out that one. So I'm going to go to the second jam board. So remember, I go up here to the top, and I click the arrow. And it says, use the post-it notes to type words that describe you. Use at least four post-its, but you can use more. So you're going to get some post-it notes, and you're going to just write a couple of words that describe you. So I come over here to the left side, and I find the one that looks like a sticky note. Now you can pick which colors you like. So I'm going to pick a color I like. And I'm going to write a word that describes me. The one word that describes me is, I'm a teacher. I write the word, and then I push save. And when I push cancel, now I can see that my word is up here on a post-it. Now it's right here at the top, in the middle at the top of these words, so I'm going to move it down. Just like your other pictures, you can drag it. You can move it around a little. I'm a teacher. Uh, another word, I think I'm going to do a different color. A, another word for me to describe me is I'm a girl. I push, when I type my word, I push save. And so I can see what I did. I push cancel. And of course, I want to move this one, probably make it about the same size as the other one. I can move it anywhere on the board. Um, let's see, I need another word because I need at least four. I think for this one, I'm going to put also that I have brown hair. That describes me, describes what I look like. Okay. Since I push save, I go to cancel. I can move this. Got brown hair. And then I need one more post-it. I could even say like how I'm feeling. Like right now I'm happy that I'm teaching you something new. I push that and cancel. And now I have my four words. So again, if you guys could come up with more words, you are welcome to. But there... I've got my jam board. So it's kind of cool, guys. It's something that you can add stuff to, you can draw on. And today, you are going to do this exact same activity for me. Later in the week, we're going to use this activity in a writing project where you're going to be describing characters, a setting, a problem, but you're going to do it on a jam board. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed using this and I get to see some awesome jam boards. See you later.